why man has suffered and whether it is lending to suffering, not only the personal sorrow, but the sorrow for vast humanity. Right? Don't let's get sentimental about this. But actually, all of us suffer in one way or another. The dull man suffers, the most intellectual, learned, or every human being on this earth, including the leaders in Russia, every human being suffers. The objects of sorrow may vary, but sorrow is sorrow. Therefore, it is not personal. But if we realize sorrow is sorrow of all mankind, all humanity, and we are the rest of humanity. Because we, we have fear, sorrow, pleasure, anxiety, like the rest of mankind. If we realize sorrow is not my sorrow, that becomes such a small affair. But is, we are the whole of mankind. We are the rest of mankind. And when we when there is suffering, suffering is man suffering. Then you have a totally different approach to the problem. You understand? Not my suffering and please God help me how to get over it how to understand it, I pray, I, it's all become so personal, shoddy little affair. Right? But when it is the rest of mankind that has suffered, then suffering becomes an extraordinary thing that one has to look at very carefully. And if one human being understands the nature of suffering and goes beyond it, he then helps the rest of mankind. Right? 